All right, three, two, one, let's go. What is going on team? Welcome back to another Isle video, specifically the continuation of our V4 exploration Gallimimus fantastic adventure. So what we are going to do is just continue on and there's actually only three more lakes for us to check out. But before we do that team, I'm going to announce the winners of the super fantastic holiday giveaway special, 500 subscriber milestone extravaganza. So without further ado, the winner of the $50 Steam gift card is and the winner of the $100 Steam gift card. Congratulations to the both of you and to everyone else out there that entered the contest. I appreciate it. Thank you for supporting the channel and don't you worry, we will be having more giveaways in the future. Without further ado, let's get right to it. I believe we're on the Scooby Shack, Nest V4, 18 people in server. Jeez, it's been dead in this server for the past couple of days. I don't know why. The first time I played on the V4, it was on the Scooby Shack, and there was so many people in there. The heck? Oh, I was gonna say, I was like, I'm not limping. No, I accidentally hit G when I was trying to hit N for night vision. G doesn't stand for night vision, that doesn't make any sense. Jeez, and Pete, come on. Ooh, all right. Fantastic, we got some blue plants. Not starving today. Oh, I should probably also get something to drink. Okay, so we are going to head right over. I mean, I don't know. I'm not overly concerned about my hunger. We should be able to find some food along the way. So we are going to head over to 450, positive 450, negative 260. So let's do that right now. Let's get our coordinates pulled up here. All right, so we want the first coordinates to be going down. And we want our second coordinates to also be going down. Oh my gosh, there's so many trees here. Oh, jeez, um. It's a freaking labyrinth of wood. Yeah, we're definitely going in the right direction, but like, I can't see any landmarks because of how freaking dense this forest is, so this is gonna be kind of difficult to really navigate aside from using our coordinate system here. So if that's something that eventually they will get rid of, which I have heard from some people that eventually they are gonna get rid of the coordinate system, I haven't heard that from any official sources, so we will see if that is what will end up happening Oh gosh, we are at a imposing cliff face right here. Now we should be able to get up right here. Oh my gosh, that was the most effortless ascent of any hills that I've ever had on the V4 map. Normally it's like you can barely freaking find a way up anywhere. Okay, so let's try to get our bearings as to where exactly this place is gonna be. Jeez, I don't even know how to navigate this. I think I'm actually supposed to stay like down in these ravine areas here. That's what it kind of looks like. All right, let's try that. So we're gonna go this way and kind of follow this around here to the left. This looks like where we're supposed to be going. Okay, so I believe that this is actually going to take us to the next lake because the lake we are trying to get to is in a bunch of redwood trees, but it does look like there's some kind of gorge snaking its way leading us to it. And I think that this is it because our coordinates are telling us that we're moving in the right direction. So let's keep on keeping on in this direction and we should come up on that all kinds of soon. Okay. I'm not sure how big of a lake this is gonna be. It seems reason- Oh, geez, I'm stuck in a tree. It seems reasonably large. Hopefully there's something happening there. That would be cool. Cause there wasn't a whole lot of exciting things. Actually, you know what I think we should do? We should go from the Redwood South Pond, which is what we are heading to right now, to the Canyon Lake, and then end the video at the Taco Pond. Because there's always fun stuff happening at Taco Pond. At least, from my experience. Now, it would make more logistical sense to go to the Taco Pond after the one we're heading to right now, but... I don't know, there's just too much hype surrounding the Taco Pond, so I think we are gonna do that. Alright, we are going to go to this one right here, check it out. See what's happening. We're close, so I'm gonna get my stamina back up. So once we check out this next one, then we're gonna head over to the Canyon Lake, which it's gonna be kind of a mess to get to, it seems like. No matter. And the fact that I will have you all here to support me along the way, well, that's gonna make the journey all the more enjoyable, regardless of how long it takes. So let's do that. Ooh, is it over here? Yes, it is over here. All right, so we're gonna be all kinds of stealthy sneaking up to this pond here. 
and we're going to see what's happening. I mean, I doubt there's much happening, considering there's like 15 people in the server. And that's not a lot. That's not a lot at all. Okay. It seems relatively quiet here, so we're just going to be bold, get ourselves a drink. Let's see if we can find any buddies hanging out under the water. It's possible. Nope. No buddies under the water. All right, well, let's get a little bit of food here so we can fuel up before the next leg of our fantastic journey. But before we do that, here we are. This is, what's it called again? Redwood South Pond. That makes sense. We're in a redwood forest, so I dig it. I dig the logic there. So from here, we're going to continue on to Canyon Lake, which that's going to require us to go back this way. And I think what I might actually do is after we are done checking out these three lakes, then I might actually pop into one of the V3 servers because I have not actually played on the V3 map in quite a long time. And I gotta say, I miss it. Not as much because I think that the map is like far superior, but just there seems to be way more people playing on it. And well, that's by far, oh my good gosh, this is not where I want to be. Oh, good lord. Is there a way to get down here? I think basically at this point, all I really can do, because I'm not entirely sure what the heck is going on in this map here. So I'm just going to follow this edge, hopefully to somewhere where we can get down in there. And then once we can do that. Now, how ironic would it be if there was like a way to get down to the canyon, like right over there, if I just went in the other direction? And it's certainly possible, and there's probably people out there just going like, What are you doing, Pete? There was clearly a way to get down that way. And I just thought, well, I didn't see it. So I'm heading this way. And this might add, like, way more time onto our journey than it needed to, so... Oh, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get across here based on the map, because I think I know where I am. And I have no idea if I'm going to be able to get to Canyon Lake from here. We might actually have to go to Taco Pond first, which I guess is not the worst thing in the world. No. Is this a bridge? Please tell me this is a bridge. If it's not, it's just a cool rock formation. Oh, no way. Are we going to be able to, like, get down here somehow? This would be a sick place for, like, a human outpost. You could have, like, a helipad here, and that'd be awesome. I, I don't think there's going to be helicopters, but I'm just thinking, like, you know. If there were a human outpost here, that would be a cool thing to have there. Uh, yeah, I don't think that there's a way. No way. Wait a second. Wait a second. Are we going to be able to slide down this? Oh, baby. Oh, that doesn't look good. Then I drop down that way. Oh, yeah, there's no way. That's just a death trap, team. That is all that is. It's meant to entice you. It's like, hey, look, you can go down this way if you want to get down into the ravine. And then it's like, <laughs> psych, not even close, baby. I mean, I don't know, maybe. Maybe you can. It doesn't look like I can. Oh, see, yeah, I know where I am now based on the map. Yep, that is exactly where I am. All right, yeah, so I'm going to have to follow this all the way down this direction until eventually we will get to this little crevice that we can escape through and that's basically going to take us directly to taco pond so that is where we're going to be heading next team and then we are going to head to canyon lake after that this is so far freaking down if only we had dino parachutes that would be amazing all right well it looks like we've found a way out so let's head down this way I, i'm not entirely oh gosh okay we're good so i'm not entirely sure where this is going to spit us out Okay, I think Taco Pond is somewhere over here. Ooh, we'll be... Can we see it from up here? Is it down there? I don't think so. No, it's not down there. I think it's, like, more over in that direction. Okay, let's find a way to get down here. What is this? What is this nonsense? Okay, can we get down this way? Oh, we better be able to get down this way. I think we will. Unless we get stuck. Like we did trying to climb up that other one. Oh, you know what? This this actually might be considerably more treacherous than I had previously thought. Oh, jeezum, team. Oh, this is bad. This is real bad. 
Are we gonna do it? No, get him. No, 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 don't break your leg. Uh, is that it? No, 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 no! No! Please! <sighs> that sucks so much. But at the same time, that will allow us to just be a taco, and given that, we should spawn right around Taco Lake. Oh, look at my skin! I am so gorgeous! Look at me! You know what? I ain't even mad. I ain't even mad because I freaking love these little tacos. They're just way too slow. But I like playing as them because they're so freaking adorable. Uh-oh. That's not a good sound. That is not a sound that I appreciate. Uh... Okay. I mean, it's not like we got a whole lot to lose, but still. Alright, so I think it's just over this ridge here. Can it be? Yes, it is! It is the wonderful Taco Lake. Oh, gosh. Where is everybody? Hello? Anybody? I know that I heard something real big around here earlier, so calling out's probably one of the last things I should be doing, but... I want to find somebody. I don't know what to make of this either, little taco. I don't know. What should we do? I guess we could go to the closest blue plants. Uh-oh. I heard footsteps. Oh, was that it? <gasps> what is it? Oh, no freaking way. Is that a T-Rex? Well, at least we found a buddy to hang out with, and, you know, considering we are the taco, I am in no way concerned about losing any of my progress. So, is that a T-Rex? Oh, no, it's a Giga! How's it going? Wait, what is... Is there another Giga over there? I don't know. I think it's a bunch of Gigas. <laughs> Just poking my head out of the water. How are you? No! No! It's a little baby Giga! Oh my gosh, this is one of the best things that has ever happened to me in the history of playing this game. Alright, well, I guess we're just gonna chill with these gigas here. Oh gosh, is that the little taco you're eating? I, I can't see whatever it is you're eating. Oh wow, look at you. This giga is quite the specimen, team. So majestic. Alright. So what's the plan? What's the plan, Giga Team? I'm gonna find some shenanigans to get into? Yes? No? Oh! Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, we got another little taco incoming! Oh, I wish I was a Velociraptor so I could get invited to this nest, except there aren't any eggs at this nest. Oh my gosh, night vision. So bright. What's going? No, no, no! Don't do it! Oh no! I don't have any food! I mean, I guess I can let this Giga eat me. And then I'll respawn in and hopefully I spawn a little bit closer to to the blue plants. Alright, let's do that. Come on, little baby Giga. Let's fight! I'm gonna get you. You ain't gonna take on this taco. Not today. I'm gonna headbutt you with my little thorny face. I'm not gonna lie, that would actually kind of hurt. No, 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 you, you can't eat the plants. Haha, <laughs> but I can. Come on, you know you won't do it. You won't do it. I'm happy to provide myself as sustenance for your growth, little baby Giga. This is actually horribly tragic. Alright, well, what's done is done. I mean, little baby's gotta eat, so let us... Ooh, actually, if we spawn in as the Velociraptor, we might actually be close to the Canyon Lake. We're either going to spawn, like, kind of close to the Canyon Lake as a Velociraptor, or we're going to spawn, like, so freaking far away from the Canyon Lake, it's going to take us 100 million trillion billion years to get there. Not even an exaggeration, so... Uh, you know what? Let's just risk it and go for it. So let's unlock the Velociraptor. See where we are. We're negative 334. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. 
Okay, that's actually not horrible. We're trying to get to positive, what? Uh, positive 130, negative 415. All right, this is doable. This is totally doable. Okay, oh my gosh, why do they spawn us on a freaking cliff? That's so dangerous. Okay, so this is the direction we want to go. Except, are we going to be able to get up this little ledge here, or are we going to have to walk all the way around this ledge? I wouldn't put it past him. Holy crap, we're freaking flying up this. I mean, pretty much anywhere where there's grass, you should be able to climb up. Wow, I am eating my freaking words right now, because here's a whole bunch of grass, and we can't climb up. I literally just said, yo, if there's grass, like, generally you can get up those areas. Son of a bitch. Okay, Velociraptor, please let us spawn a little bit closer this time. Negative 337. Negative 12. Is this, like, the same place? This is, like, the same freaking place. Okay. Uh, this freaking cliff is directly in our way. All right, maybe I can head up in this direction. You know, pretty much anywhere where it looks like you could climb up those areas. From my experience on this map, it's just like, nope. No, you can't. You can't do it. Like this up here. For all intents and purposes, it looks like an entrance. It, it, it does. It looks like a way built in that it's like, oh, yo, look, 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 at, look at this area over here. You, you can like get up that way. I'm going to try. And I wouldn't be 100% surprised if we could, but at the same time, I'm not going to even for a second be surprised if we can't get up this way. So let's cross our fingers, because if we can get up this way, then we're actually like going perfectly in the right direction to get to that lake. Why is the battery on my freaking camera dying so fast? I used to be able to film for like two, three hours straight and it would be fine. Now it's like film for an hour and it's like, no, we're, uh, we're done. Yeah, I l Oh, that's a problem. Okay, so e so everyone was removed from the game on that little server reset or whatever the heck that was. So we're going to get right back in and head right back to where we were. No way, it's freaking daytime. All right, I guess I'm pretty happy about that. Seriously, you need to take a freaking class on how to navigate this map. See this this looks promising. But I've said that a number of times in the past. Okay. Seriously, Velociraptor? Are you that much of a freaking scrub that you can't get up this? Alright, I'm going to rest up. And I'm going to freaking jump my way up this little... Fucking, I don't even know. This little thing right here. No way. Okay, so we're, get, we're getting up. Uh, Velociraptor? Could you jump? There you go. Alright. Okay, so the key is you gotta, you gotta, oh. All right, so the key is you gotta jump all the way up these things. Will I even be able to get up this one? I mean, seriously, in any other game, I would approach this little area right here where this tree is, and I'd just be like, yo, easy. I can get around that, no problem. In this game, it's like, I don't, I don't know. I have no idea if this is too insurmountable for my little Velociraptor or not to climb up. Oh my gosh, did you see that? That was actually pretty impressive. All right, so based on this map, we're actually pretty close. I think what might actually end up happening is based on what I'm seeing here, I might be able to get a view of the lake, but I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to get to it. Because I feel like this is going to be one of those situations where I, like, get to a ledge, and then it's like, oh no, you got to walk, like, 70 miles around this direction to, like, get down from that ledge. So I'm just going to head directly to it, and it's at positive 135, negative 415. So we're just going to have to see where this takes us. Oh, I'm just walking through the trees. Okay, they're ghost trees. Wow, okay, that's awesome. Makes navigating through here a lot easier. I don't actually have to worry about running into any of them. Sweet. All right. I'm feeling good about this team. We should be coming up on the Canyon Lake really soon. Like I said, I mean, I can see, I can see some drop-offs here in the distance. So if we come to a ledge and we're not going to be able to get down there, that is certainly a scenario that is likely to happen. 
But we're gonna see if we can get down. I'm gonna try my darndest. Is this it? I think this might just be it. <gasps> this is Canyon Lake team. But I was correct in that we're not gonna be able to get down there without hurling ourselves off this ledge. We could just freaking cliff dive. Oh my gosh, you know what? We're gonna do it. I'm gonna back up and I'm gonna see if I have enough momentum to get all the way into the lake. All right, let's see. Where would be the best place to do this from? Right here? Ooh, maybe that one over there. I'm not sure where the best point of entry would be. The only problem is that I don't wanna jump off and then smack one of those ledges on the way down, which is certainly a possibility. This might actually be one of our best bets, team. All right, let's give it a shot. Let's do this. Wish me luck, team. Hopefully we can, uh, we can get enough momentum. We're gonna be able to actually get into the lake. All right, so I'm actually going to crouch down because as you already know, you get a pretty substantial speed boost when you crouch for a while and then start sprinting again, so. All right, three, two, one, let's go. No, we are not even going to be close to making it. What the heck was that? All right, you know what, team? I'm counting it. I showed you where Canyon Lake was, and well, I ended up, you know, being at Canyon Lake. I was dead, unfortunately, but, you know, I was there. So, there you go. That was Canyon Lake. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Okay, so let us go, actually. I'm going to go back to the Satako. And we're going to head back to Taco Lake and see if those gigas are still there. Because, well, those guys were awesome. Give a little call out. See if anything's over here. Yo, Secretary Ninja! Again, yes, of course I'll be in a group with you. But where are you? I want to hang out with you, but, like, I just, I, I can't, I can't find you. Are you here, gigas? Oh, wait a second, they were kicked from the server, too. Okay, so they weren't going to be around here. Aw, where did you go, Gigas? All right, well, as always, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up, and if you'd like to see more, click right here to join the team. And to all of my teammates out there, stay fantastic. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time.